Start your lip gloss business with Forever Wholesale. Visit www.foreverwholesale.co to learn more. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheila, if you don't know me, and I'm a photographer and videographer, and I love doing commercial at home. Um, so I created a commercial for Wholesaler. It's a lip gloss wholesaler. I don't get to do these projects often, so I'm super excited when I do get to do them, but the problem is I don't have a studio or anything, so I literally... You're about to see the mess that we created at my house to be able to accomplish this video. But today is actually Sunday. We filmed Thursday night, Friday night, and then all day yesterday. And I tried to edit um, yesterday as we shot because I wanted to know exactly what I had. Our time was limited and it was due today, actually. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to put all those clips in my computer and then none of them, none of them would work. Um, I had my boyfriend help me. That's why I'm saying we. Um, and he is actually pretty good at helping me. He's not like super um, into photo or video or anything like that, but with, he did the best that he could. So I'm going to show you the setup that we had and I'm going to show you some clips. I didn't film the whole behind the scenes just because it was the two of us and it was actually really hard. Um, I should have set up like a camera and a tripod or something, but I wasn't I had so many things that I was like paying attention to that I just didn't think that I was going to be paying attention to that camera as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have everything still up. As you can see, look at the disaster. We ended up, that's my puppy right there. We ended up separating our couch so we could um, just have this space to walk. This is usually our living room. You can see our TV behind um, that stand there but I have this um, we were filming during the day in the beginning so I had this reflector here with the black just kind of blocking the sun from the outside I also had this ring light just um, aimed at the background and I had um, this young Newell light as um, just from the back like just lighting the products from the back so um, that ended up working out really well. I usually take this with me for weddings, so it's a great light. I'm going to actually just show it to you guys. If you're looking for something that's bright and lasts a long time, um, this is it. And it also has one of the batteries. I'm not sure what it's called, but I have um, a couple of these batteries and I use them without having to plug it into the wall. So we had this pink background. This is actually um, just paper and i ordered this from amazon it's i think it was like 20 dollars, and it comes in a big roll so i really like that and we clipped it up there with this um stand that i have um and this light is from esddi as well so i really like it i filmed for youtube with that then i had this rotating table i can link this down below but i do end up using this a lot they have different sizes and i ended up getting this smaller one so i'm not sure i would have probably gotten the big one if i had to do it over I also have this Godox SLW, um, SL60W, and we used, we used it for the last shots just because we were missing a little bit of light. And then the stands that I'm using are all from Flashpoint. I really like them. They're inexpensive, and you can find them at Adorama. And then my main light was this one, the BL150 from Godox, and I'm using the Easy Lock Reflector 25 inches. I love these because they're so easy to take apart and put back up. And I think that was all my lighting, actually. I'm filming with the R6 and the 100mm Canon. And then I also wanted to film with the 50mm, but I didn't end up using it. And then we also used this lighter with, from GVM. And I'm not sure where my boyfriend got it for me, but it was a birthday present. So I'm trying to go over things as fast as I can. These are the kind of um, batteries that I was saying that you can use with the light. It's called... Um, I'm not sure exactly... But that is the name right there. You can use these for a ton of things. They're very universal for a lot of the lighting equipment that I have. So the product that we were shooting um, was this lipsticks. So I have these little tubes right here. This is just glue that we were using. And then I have um, the jars of the actual lip gloss. And we also have a different kind. Let me see over here. So here, here they are. So we had these in different colors. They have these ones that have like rose petals inside, which I think are so cute. I think I want to do like a separate little um, video for that and maybe send it to him. And then when you dumped the lip gloss on here just to create a shot, um, I'm not sure if that made it into the final video just because it looked a little weird. But here is the, so here are the shots that I had in my mind that I wanted to shoot. 
um we ended up doing all of them not all of them made it onto the final video but that is pretty much the ideas that i have i just like to write things down just to remind myself where i'm at and see how far we have come so yeah i'm gonna take just a shot from afar so you can see the whole setup that is where i edit back there <laughs> and this is the disaster that my house was i have to clean this up after the video is done so so our first shot, I wanted it to be kind of like opening up to the actual product. So I decided to glue these to two of the um, little centerpieces that I had. And what we're gonna do is just like manually move them like this, like open them up and move them away. And the camera's gonna be zooming in to the product that's gonna be in the center. So I think we pulled it off. We used some like low heat um, glue gun and I mean, honestly, I haven't taken the shot yet, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but I think it looks good. What do you think? Yeah, it'll work. So we're putting our product right here on this rotating table. So as it's moving in, um, we're just gonna have this rotating probably very slowly. I just want it to have a little bit of movement um, and not be like a, just a flat shot. So, okay, so we have our first setup here. We're using the slider. And we're just gonna use it to zoom in into the uh, actual product. Okay. So, I think this is the end. Yeah, that's the end. So, so, there. Yeah, perfect. So, I'm watching this as I'm, you know, editing because I wanna make sure that, like, I narrate, narrate, narrate narrate the right stuff in the right order so here we were marking the camera like the lens for the manual focus just because it had to be on the products when it opened and then it had to like zoom in and focus on the product when you know when the slider went forward the problem was i was holding the light you know holding the light aiming it and then recording starting the slider and then go into focus and as i'm focusing i had to take the light away because i didn't want it to be like over lit the actual product so it was so funny we did this like about 50 times and the camera stopped recording I, you can probably see when it falls the other thing i was having is that i up, um installed a new update on my phone so things were i recorded way more than i have but things for some reason just didn't record i don't know what happened there um my phone is like i have the iphone 12 so i shouldn't be having any issues but we were laughing at one point so hard like i had to like stop everything and just start laughing for like a whole minute okay and then start. the start is relevant to where you're standing so okay so you are good yeah all right so we decided to have old pat decided to have skewers um so we can move them easier i think they don't have enough weight to them but this shot right here when i had like the um little centerpieces that i was opening up the centerpieces you could see the background it was just too big so pat had the idea of putting them in skewers and it actually really worked out pretty well i guess that is easier you're right you got it <laughs> Okay, so we figured out our product over here and we have it on focus. The problem is I am holding, currently ho holding this light, starting the remote and manual focusing at the same time. So we're having a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to try to film this one and see how it looks. All right, you want to show me? Mm -hmm. Show me your skills. No, see, you got to do it at the same time. It has to be like... You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just... Okay. This is the correct order, right? Okay. Um, come towards me more. Yeah, there. Okay, towards your right. Left. Okay, no. Actually? Yeah, that's good. Alright, so... Recording? You ready? Mm-hmm. One two and three it's really sad that this caught up right there because i mean you didn't get to see like any of the action of the slider and us opening up it was actually i think really cool but like i said you probably wouldn't even have seen the one that actually worked because we did it so many times um in some instances i forgot to focus <laughs> it was really funny okay anyways but we did it one two three Oh, 
All right, so we are on day two. Pat's currently making me some breakfast, but over here we have a pink background. They asked me for specifically for a pink background, so I ended up getting this from Amazon. And I also have some fabric here, which I probably am gonna steam just because I wasn't liking how it was looking last night, but it was very late and we were definitely ready for bed. Right now we're getting some macro shots. We did get the fabric falling over the lipstick yesterday. Today we wanna kind of um, put it over this and then when we lift it back up, you're gonna see the jars of lip gloss, but I wasn't liking how, um, how the fabric was actually looking, so we're gonna try that again and then um, move on to the next shot. So I have my little list of shots here. Did not include um, these lipsticks in that list, so I wanna make sure that I can find a way to incorporate those as well, maybe with the wands. So this is pretty much what we're guiding ourselves um, with and what we're working on today. So, two, three. I think they were all moving. They were all slightly shaking like this one is when we were filming, so she's putting tape on it. Hopefully that stops them from shaking. I think it will. Although this double-sided tape is like not very easy to use. It's like sticks in your fingers. So for this next shot, we wanted to put the all the lipsticks, like the squeezy tubes, in a circle and have them rotate. And I wanted to like film it upwards. So I was using the ring light and it honestly worked out well. I just wanted to, um, I don't know. I wasn't liking like how it was looking and I was shaking all the way up. So I decided to use a Osmo pocket, which is a little gimbal that I have. And that shot actually came out better. Also, it was um, a little later in the night. So the colors I think worked out better because it looked more like studio lighting. Um, and I feel like the first shot that I took just didn't match the whole, the rest of the video. So I'm glad that I did that. I had this idea of having all the lip glosses in a row and having them fall. And then um, I ended up switching my first shot for this one just because I liked it so much. So we glued, um, we used little like double-sided glue with fish line and then I had Pat like pull them one by one which actually worked out pretty well um and then and um when I was editing I just cut them out to to kind of like drop at the same pace yeah I think that works the only thing is that um we have to cut the like the side that's sticking out We also did a shot where they were falling which i didn't end up using just because it didn't make much sense we didn't film it at the same distance um we filmed it a little closer so there was like no continuation and i was really sad because i wanted them to like drop and slow motion i could um pick up the actual lipstick dropping and i filmed it in 120 frames per second and it was still like too much of a fall so mm, we didn't use that one all right okay it's only one Go up higher. Spread it out. Can you hold it like me? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, drop. So one of our other shots, and this is something that the client asked me for, he wanted the big jars of lip gloss to fall into water. So I wanted it to transition into like a lip gloss coming out of it, but because the jars were so big and it splashed so much water, the lipsticks were very small. So um, it didn't matter how many times we threw the lipstick, it was just wasn't working. And like, I just didn't see a way to connect those two shots. So I decided to do a different shot, still do the drop and then turn it into another like transition with the water. Unfortunately, those were all the shots that we had from the whole shoot. Um, yesterday was a very long day. So at the end, we were just kind of like concentrating on the fact that we had a deadline for this morning to deliver it. And I still had to like edit the whole thing. 
um so we didn't take so many behind the scenes i checked my phone and my boyfriends to see if we had like any pictures or anything but we don't there were some other shots that i didn't get to film the backstage that i really enjoyed like the one that kind of like disappears all the the lipsticks start and they disappear that was really cool we ended up gluing them hot gluing them to like a piece like at a table i think it was yeah the ikea table that i had and then we ended up like making them disappear and i did that in post so it was really cool i had so much fun filming this video if you're a brand and you're watching this video and you'd like me to do something for your brand like this make sure you email me or let me know on instagram because this is honestly what i love doing and for those of you who are watching this video let me know how you liked it um if there's any shots that you really enjoyed um yeah so definitely positive vibes on the comment section please and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys on my next one bye Start your lip gloss business with Forever Wholesale. Visit www.foreverwholesale.co to learn more.